I'm Jason UFC and today we have a story about Daniel Cormier reacts after UFC heavyweight champion John Jones hints at retirement. This is what Daniel Cormier says about John Jones. I do believe that there are some challenges for John Jones. Some fighting challenges is what Cormier is talking about. John Jones is widely considered to be the best fighter to have ever stepped inside the UFC octagon. His lone um, career defeat is a late 2019 disqualification against Matt Hamill. I believe that was the 12 to 6 elbow or something. I think that's what it's called. It's illegal or something like that. Um, his um, John Jones pro MMA record is a stellar 27 and 1 with one no contest. And John Jones has held UFC gold in both the UFC light heavyweight division and in the heavyweight division with all that John Jones has accomplished. It's easy to see why Bones Jones could be thinking about walking away from MMA competition forever. And even UFC president Dana White told TMZ Sports that uh, Dana White would not be surprised if um, John Jones retires soon. Okay. No more challenges for John Jones? During a an um, episode of ESPN, DC, and RC show, Daniel Cormier shared his theory on why John Jones may be thinking about hanging up his glove. John, jo uh, gloves. John Jones is still the best in the world, Daniel Cormier said. He was excited about the idea of going to fight at heavyweight. It was the challenge and something that scared him, but do you think that maybe it was easier than he may have thought. He got through Surreal Gone so easy. First round um, submission, right? Where's the challenge? Where's that thing that scares John Jones? Because that's what Jones spoke about before the fight with Surreal Gone. Being scared again, something that was dangerous. Maybe John Jones doesn't feel um, that maybe John Jones doesn't feel like that is going to be his every day at heavyweight. With that said, John, Daniel Cormier does believe that there are still some intriguing fights for John Jones, obviously. Um, I would like to see John Jones continue to fight. Me too. I would like to see John Jones fight guys like Ser Sergei Pavlovich. I would like to see John Jones fight... Um, Stipe Miocic, and I do believe that there are some challenges for John Jones. I did not expect the Surreal Gone fight to go in the way that it did, even though it was always a possibility, but that isn't his hardest fight. I thought it was. It's not his hardest fight, though. There are a couple of fights still out there that I guess will be... Um, his hardest fight. Now, you know, I'm an MMA casual, so I don't follow everything in MMA, right? Um, but it, it, I just find it crazy that, you know, now everybody who's literally a week ago never talked about Sergei Pavlovich are now saying that, you know, before John Jones retires, he needs to fight a Sergei Pavlovich, you know? If it's not, you know, if John Jones defeats Sergei Pavlovich, you know, a year from now, um, people are going to be saying, hey, Tom Aspinall, right? You know, it's there's always going to be challenges. You know, John Jones left the light heavyweight division, Yuri Perhouska. Um, he's in, you know, in the light heavyweight division. I'm pretty sure people say John Jones should fight. Yuri, you know, there's always, 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 always going to be a next challenge. This is why the UFC always succeeds, right? There's always going to be someone who um, we look at and say, well, maybe this person should have fought, you know, um, uh, Sergei Pavlovich when Habib retired. People were saying that Habib should have fought Charles Oliveira, you know, it, it, it never ends. It, it just never ends. Um, and for everyone who says that, you know, Sir, Surreal Gone, we thought that that was going to be John Jones' toughest fight. And, you know, he ended that fight in the first round. You know, maybe Surreal Gone should fight Sergei Pavlovich. Let those two fight each other, right? Because it's like, I, I like Sergei Pavlovich. You know, it was a great victory over um, 
um, Curtis um, Blades, right? That was that was a good victory. You know, maybe Sergey Pavlovich is most likely the number one contender. But, you know, Sergey Pavlovich has a lot to prove also, right? Like, you know, John Jones doesn't have anything left to prove. Sergey Pavlovich has to defeat, you know, he's going to have to be the one to defeat the Tom Aspinalls of the world, the Cyril Gons of the world. You know, John Jones is just going to pass it on. I totally agree with John Jones saying, like, listen, you know, God bless Sergey Pavlovich. God bless, you know, Tom Aspinall. They're there. You know, they're good fighters, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, John Jones is 27 and 1 in MMA. He's defeated people like um, Vitor, Rampage, Rashad Evans. You know, he's defeated Ryan Bader, Brian, um, Brandon Vera, Lyoto Machida. You know, what I mean, the names on the list of John Jones, almost all Hall of Famers, right? These are people who are going to literally go chill sunning, you know? These are names who are going to the UFC Hall of Fame. So, you know, the idea of, you know, John Jones defeating um, Surreal Gan and then going on to defeat Stipe Miocic, should he really wait around to, you know, I'm not going to say he's going to get knocked out by Sergey Pavlovich, but what's the, you know, what's the motivation to fight a Sergey Pavlovich, you know, he's not going to be more motivated to fight Sergey Pavlo Pavlovich over, you know, Stipe Miocic, who many consider to be the greatest UFC heavyweight champion of all time. I'm pretty sure uh, John Jones, a victory over a Stipe Mio Miocic, you know, who's considered the greatest UFC heavyweight of all time, is it's that's a great way to end your career, right? That in my opinion, my MMA casual opinion that, you know, after um, the Stipe Miocic fight, which most likely will happen in October of this year, that fight is going to be scheduled for the New York City MSG card. It makes sense. John Jones is from New York, um, New York State. I don't think it's from New York City, New York State. Um, but that would be a great way to, you know, in your um, career. I don't I don't see the motivation of, you know, staying in the game and fighting a Tom Aspinall next year and fighting a Sergey Pavlovich. Let them get their shine. Those two fighters, they can fight each other for the championship, add in a surreal gone. Let the heavyweights start building up the division after the reign of John Jones. Um, but I don't, I don't see John Jones staying uh, around to fight, you know, Sergey's and Tom Aspinall in the next year. I, I don't I don't see that at all. Um, but let me know your opinion of this story. Do you think John Jones should re be retiring after the fight versus Stipe Miocic? Or do you think, do you agree with me that he should retire after a fight with Stipe Miocic? Or do you agree with Daniel Cormier that uh, John Jones, you know, if he retires, that's cool, but you would like John Jones to stay around to fight the Sergey Pavlovich, the, you know, the Curtis Blades, the Tom Aspinalls of the, the Thai Tua Bassas uh, of the world. Maybe the Alex Pereira, right? Another That's another fight out there that, you know, Alex Pereira is talking about going up to heavyweight. So, you know, like I said, there's always another contender. I, I just... I think the the last fight in John Jones' career should be a fight versus Stipe Miocic in New York City. I'm Jason, UFC. Today we had a story about Daniel Cormier reacts after UFC heavyweight champion John Jones hints at retirement. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the $1 donation button. And please tune in to the next video on this channel. Thanks a million for watching.